Hey guys, so um, for Self Love Sunday, I'm getting it in a little bit later again, but at least I'm doing it. Um, I decided I want to play with my new angel deck here, my new little angel deck. And so I'm just going to first ask um, the archangels that are featured in this deck. Um, I'm asking one of them uh, to step forward. Who would like to step forward and talk about self love today? Give a message of self love. might take a moment because there's not very there's so there's only a few so just waiting for them to flip one out there we go thank you so who is it okay I just I literally just finished a live and we got talking about so someone asked me if there is another male energy that hangs around with Eric, Archangel Uriel, particularly if Eric's not with me, which Eric is always with me. Energy is always with all of us, but Eric is always with me. Um, and I said, yes, and I was naming a few. And then, but then they specifically asked me about James. James is mine and Eric's son that I lost at childbirth when we were married in the 1920s together, when we were to get married together in the 1920s. God's Favorite Idiot. It's a new show that's on Netflix. And the Archangel that's being featured in it is Archangel Shamuel, 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 Shamuel. And this whole time, I'm like, who's Archangel Shamuel? Who's Archangel Shamuel? So we got talking about this on the live, and I was like, okay, I'm going to see what, because then this person asked, they have this really deep connection with James. And I was like, we are family. We were feeling we're family. There's a, connect, there's a reason we feel like we have this connection. So I was like, okay, well, what message does James have for the two of us? And two cards popped out one was with a, a message and the other was the Archangel Samuel card and I was like are you serious my son James is Archangel Samuel there's no way there's no such thing as coincidences all this week I've been like who's Archangel Samuel who's Archangel Shamuel? and then that card pops out are you kidding me and then right now I just asked which Archangel would like to step out and work and this would make sense why again it would make sense why because of He's the Archangel of Love, Unconditional Love, and what card just came out is I'm like, which Archangel would like to step forward and talk about self-love? I know it's blurry, but Archangel Shamuel. It's kind of showing a little bit. There you go. More point proof. That's really cool. Eric and I have a very strong, intimate connection. We've been connected every incarnation, and um, that's this is point proof of that. That's really cool. So, Archangel Samuel works on the pink ray of love and being blessed with this Archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Love has no restrictions and accepts all people as they are, nor does it judge. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger, and separation. Let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones, those you dislike, and strangers. This creates a bridge of light with the which the angels can move along to, to bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed and filled with love. Affirm, my heart is filled with the flame of love. My heart is filled with the flame of love. And as I'm reading this, I'm getting the whole reminder of the self-love. You got to work on the self-love first. You have to work on this first and project it outward. And, and then in the meantime, do all things with kindness. Work on projecting love toward everyone and everything. You know, I, I in the live I was just saying, I'm rewatching all of Full House. I still haven't seen the last season of Fuller House, but and I'm and right now I'm currently on the last season of Full House. And the episode I just watched, the one character just said, When children seem the most unlovable is when they need love the most. And that's the same with this. When you feel like you're most unlovable, when others seem like they're most unlovable, that's when you need love the most. That's when you need to be giving love the most. When people seem most unlovable, that's when they need love the most. We are. We need to be start giving love because what have been what, what what have we been doing this whole time? Boxing people in. You're bad. You're wrong. You do this. No matter what someone does, if it is in any way deemed bad, right away we tell them they're bad, and then that you box that person in. We need to stop doing that. That's how we create these loops that we're clinging on to. We need to break those loops, and that's what we're doing right now. So I'm asking Archangel Shamuel, 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 James, um, what would he like to speak on when it comes to self-love? What message What message would he like to give today when it comes to self-love? Please, Samuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. Oh. 
dude. Oh, you're playing with me right now because you know I don't like doing that. But this, it makes sense though. I don't want, I don't, I don't like, I don't like doing more than three cards. I will always put them back if there's more than three. He pulled four. Two were upright and two, like two were front way facing and two were backward facing. And so he's like, well, technically I pulled two and two. Fine. This is like one of those rare exceptions. I'll go with more than four, more than three, but I don't usually do that. But it's because he did two backwards and two frontward that I'm, I'm accepting it tricky tricky okay so <laughs> all right so um all right so acknowledge um acknowledgement is the first one or I don't even know what order they came in but acknowledgement look after yourself by acknowledging your desires and needs and taking steps to meet them examine and note your gifts talents and achievements when you accept all aspects of yourself you feel centered and confident then you can genuinely genuinely acknowledge others Become aware of and nurture the good qualities of the people in your life and they feel relaxed and happy in your presence. So that, so that they feel relaxed and happy in your presence. Angel wisdom reminds you to recognize who you truly are and evolve spirit in a human body. When you acknowledge your spiritual dimensions, you will align with your true self and your spirit will soar. Affirmation, I acknowledge who I truly am. I acknowledge who I truly am. And that circles right into what I was just talking about, doing that self-love going inward, accepting, you have to accept all aspects of yourself. And that includes the illusioned shit that you've gone through, that you've done, all your illusion, pain, anger, fears, everything. You have to face it. You have to feel it. You have to embrace it. And then you have to do the work on it. But then outside that, also remember, focus on the good. Focus on who and what you truly are. What are you truly? You are your higher self. You are nothing but pure love and peace. You are one with God. You are God. You are God experiencing itself, experiencing itself. And that is along with everyone, everyone, including you, are innocent and pure and love. You can't not be. Recognizing the beauty in all that you are. And then let that project outward. And seeing that also in everyone and everything. Understanding. So... Your angel guidance is to examine yourself and your current situation in depth so that you have a clear awareness of the underlying reasons for your challenges and situations. Acqu acquaint yourself with facts about situations and attitudes before you take decisions. Self-awareness is a necessary foundation on which to build strong friendships, relationships, and work. Understanding your personality is a basis for understanding your spiritual self and your mission on earth. Ask your angel to help you. Affirm, I seek an understanding of myself and my life. I seek an understanding of myself and my life. Again, facing yourself. Facing all parts of yourself. Understanding yourself and how you function. And where you let illusion and ego come in and that you cling to. You know, doing this self-awareness, like it says, it's a necessary foundation which to build strong friendships, relationships, and work. The external is the internal projected outward. The more you work and balancing and making yourself solid within here, the more that's also going to be projected out and you're going to have truth and love. That's just, you'll be projecting truth, which again is love and peace. That's going to be reflected back at you. You're going to have stronger friendships, relationships, work positions, all of that. You're going into the natural flow of things and the truth of things, real reality, which is love and peace, support, freedom, joy, happiness, neutrality, ethereal empathy, compassion, laughter, bliss discipline i talked about this on my life too we're like monks in training you know like wax on wax off like that kind of stuff we are in training right now and it takes discipline and hard work so just stick with the beginning part because it's not saying you're a slave to a master okay that's not what it's saying so just stick with this beginning part and just hear hear what it goes to say okay because remember right now our minds are chaotic and we're learning to control them all right we create our reality and we came here for a reason and we're learning to balance ourselves out. Okay. So an unruly dog is a hazard to itself and others. This is what I was talking about on the live too. We've already played with our full abilities and full awareness and we already abused our powers and we're not doing it anymore. Not that it was ever bad, but we're done playing with chaos and illusion of separation and attack. We're now going to, um, we're now going to start playing with in truth, which is love and peace. We're not going to be like 11 and what, what's that character's name? Um, 
Vecna, I think his name is. We're not going to be like those characters in Stranger Things. We're going to be able. We're, we're not going to be throwing people around and blowing things up with our minds and mind control. We're not doing that anymore. We're done with that. Which is why you will never be able to be in your full awareness and full abilities until you face your shit. Feel it, face it, embrace it, transmute it, and then also fully accept who and what you truly are and how powerful you are and you do create your reality. You make your own reality. So, the animal which has learned discipline and obedience can be trusted and will loyally and lovingly serve its master. It is then allowed, it is then allowed off its lead. Through discipline comes freedom. The master you are called on to obey is your higher self. So, giving up control, surrendering. It feels like you're giving up control, but you're actually gaining control because you're giving up control to who and what you truly are. That's not clinging on to illusion and ego. As you do this, you work, as you work through these layers of the illusion ego, your truer self, your higher self does come online. And you start to remember that's what you truly and you start to merge back in with that again. Allow it to come back online, merge with it. Words, it's awkward. It's getting more and more awkward to speak on a human level without uh, telepathy. <laughs> I need telepathy. Like, I'm, it's coming online for me. I'm like, I just want to project what I'm saying, and, like feeling and thinking and like visualizing. And then we're all, all good. I don't need human words. <laughs> um, <clears throat> So, the master you're called on to obey is your higher self. You came to earth on a mission and only self-discipline will enable you to fulfill it. Tune in and ask your angels for their help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Dis discipline is a key to fulfilling your destiny. Affirm, self-discipline brings me freedom. Self-discipline brings me freedom. You are powerful. You are one with God. You make your reality. You don't need to play victim anymore. Love yourself. Love yourself and know how powerful you are. And remember, these are all these are reminders to me too. I'm working on this stuff also. And then finally, <clears throat> this is another big one. <clears throat> Excuse me. These have been all the themes for the night. The last one, kindness. One of the things I say, do all things with kindness. And we not we got to start being kind towards ourselves and towards our others. It circles around to um, what I was saying earlier about not boxing people in. Right? So, in order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself. Have reasonable ex expectations and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. So, when, you pray, when you're praising yourself, it's not saying, I'm doing a good job versus doing a bad job before. It's acknowledging the hard work that you're doing and, that starting to, and the reflection of that starting to come through and, and giving yourself credit for that. Um, when you do something for yourself, you automatically extend the same energy to others. As you ascend and heal yourself, you ascend and heal the collective. It's impossible not to. We share the same consciousness. We're connected in oneness. We literally are the same energy. You can't not help the collective as you help yourself. Kindness melts barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out, draw out the shy, include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Again, those who seem most unlovable are the ones who need love the most. The most who, those who are withdrawn the most are the ones who need love the most. Um, your rewards will be a sense of inner peace, warmth, and love. Project out kindness, give kindness. You will feel kindness. You will receive kindness. You will feel that. You will give out love. You will receive love. Work on that self-love. You'll be giving out that self-love. It's all this big infinity loop. Work on all this stuff, and the self-love is the center point of all of it. Affirm, I am kind to myself and others. So that is what Archangel Shamuel has to talk about when it comes to self-love. And I apologize. I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. I just want to call him James from now on, but no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to have to, but if I do, I'm going to have to say his other name too, because people aren't going to necessarily realize that he's also this archangel. So, all right, there we go. So that is a little blurb on self-love. It's, um, it was, he gave, he gave some, a bit of a solid advice on what to do to work towards self-love. As you do these things, your self-love builds up, your self-love builds up. So there we go. All right. I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for everything. I love you all. And as always have a wonderful now.